Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Marcus and thanks for coming back to my Tesla solar panels and power walls channel. Today's episode is going to be specifically about power walls and why you ask? Well, yesterday, March 10th, Tesla announced Powerwall Direct, which is a reservation system which allows you to get standalone power walls. Now, this is the first time since April of 2021 that you were able to purchase or reserve a uh, power wall for install without having to have solar tied to it. Previous to that, you could do it. Then from April of 2021 until now, you had to have panels or a roof system uh, installed with it to get the power walls, but it appears that those battery cell constraints may be over now and you can get standalone power walls. Now, what a standalone power wall is going to do is basically keep your house in a time-based control mode 24-7. What that does is allow you to avoid peak rates or partial peak rates, they call them shoulder rates sometimes. Uh, and those expensive rates are the ones that you're gonna use your batteries during. Uh, and you're gonna fill those with the grid. The grid is going to give you off-peak cheap power that you then use during peak rates, so you avoid using it. So essentially, you're making money doing nothing. So we wanna get into this a little bit more, see if this makes sense for you. The additional benefit with power walls is that you're also getting backup power from the grid. So say the grid goes out like it did for us two days ago for over 24 hours. We were on the power walls, didn't have to worry about it. Our house was lit up like Clark Griswolds while the neighbors were all in the dark. If you wanna be the envy of your neighbors here, you can look down below, use my referral code, sign up for a system for panels and power walls, or just order a power wall here on its own and you can enjoy all the benefits of the cost savings and the backup power. Uh, so here, let's look at the details. So obviously pricing is gonna make a huge difference in whether power walls make sense for you or not, whether that's a standalone unit or getting them with panels or uh, roof tiles. So let's look at the power wall pricing here. This is specifically for the standalone units. Um, just to give you a heads up, Tesla doesn't include tax on our calculations if you already have solar. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but that's just how the calculator works. The other thing to note is that if you already have power walls, they take $1,000 off the price. It doesn't matter if you get one, two, or three power walls, it's just gonna be a flat $1,000 off of that price. Um, so, going forward, as you can see here, one power wall is going to be $9,200. There's a $200 delivery fee and with taxes, et cetera, it's gonna be about $10,000 for a battery. Keep in mind, this is pre-tax credit, so that's actually gonna drop by about 30%. Now, if you were to add two power walls, as you can see here, it's $17,200 and then a $200 delivery fee. So that's about $8,600 each, or about $600 cheaper per power wall if you get one versus two, or two versus one, I should say. Now the interesting thing here is if you add a third power wall, that total goes up to 25,200 with that $200 delivery fee. This works out to roughly $8,400 a power wall. So there's really not too much of a benefit here in getting a second or a third price-wise. Now I personally believe that two versus three power walls you can go into staying off the grid completely. There's a whole nother discussion with that. So we'll go into that a little bit later. But keep in mind that these do not include installation costs. You're going to get it delivered, then you're gonna to have to pay an electrician, permitting costs, etc., to get this installed. So may end up being a little bit more than you expect. But the important thing with these batteries now is that they all qualify for the 30% tax credit, even as standalone units. And that's what wasn't true prior to 2023 with the passage of the IRA. Now, with the 30% tax credit on here, you're looking at about $7,000 for one power wall. You're looking at about $13,000 for two power walls. And you're looking at about $19,000 for three power walls. So it makes it significantly cheaper, anywhere from about 10 grand each to down to about six to seven grand each. A little bit easier to stomach. Now with my system and the tax credit that I accepted last year, or two years ago, I should say, um, I agreed with the tax credit that I would only recharge my batteries with the panels tied to it um, with renewable resources. So I can't do grid charging. That's what's different with this uh, standalone setup 
and with the tax credit now is that you actually can charge these off the grid and take the tax credit at the same time. And this opens up what we like to call energy arbitrage. And that kind of helps you justify the cost. Standalone Powerballs charging off the grid kind of changes the game, but keep in mind you might have to add a time of use plan to your plan if, uh, to your electricity plan if you're not already on one. So that may raise your cost a little, just keep that in mind. But with that being said, let's get into the calculations of the arbitrage just a little bit more in detail. Powerwalls themselves hold about 13 and a half kilowatt hours per Powerwall. Now, this is where you're gonna need to know your electricity rates. For us with PG&E, our non-peak or off-peak rate during the summer is about 35 cents. Uh, our peak rate during the summer is 48 cents, so a 13 cent difference. Now in the winter time, that's only a four cent difference, so this will change the calculations quite a bit. Anyways, we won't get into that just yet. So, if you have a power wall that has about 12 kilowatt hours of usable electricity and the delta is 13 cents between your off peak and your peak, you're looking at about $1.50 or $1.56 for every discharge cycle of your power wall. Now, if we go back and look at the tax credit and everything, you're paying about $7,000 for a power wall. Divided by $1.56, that equals a total, and let me get that here, of 4,487 cycles to pay for the cost of the power wall. Now, if you were uh, cycling the power wall every single night for 12 straight years, that's how long it would take for you to pay off your power wall. Now, let's add that installation cost too. Let's say it's $1,000. That adds another 640 days onto that calculation. So about 14 years at that rate to pay off our power walls. That's a pretty long return on your investment. However, you're gonna get the backup with the power walls that you wouldn't have otherwise. You won't have to run a generator. You won't have to listen you know, to a, the hum of the engine in your backyard while the power is out. We just recently had the pleasure of listening to every neighbor's generator just the whole entire time. Meanwhile, ours are silent and not annoying. So you'll have to determine if that's worth it to you or not because power walls may or may not make sense financially depending on how big that delta is between your rates. Now don't freak out. I may have scared you saying that they need to cycle every day for 14 years. However, if you look at the warranty for power walls, you can run them unlimited cycles for 10 years and they're still warrantied for 70% capacity. So my viewpoint is you might as well use them. You might as well get your money's worth from them and avoid using the grid during those peak times. Obviously, like I said before, as your uh, difference between your peak rates or your partial peaks and your off peak uh, gets bigger, that return on your investment is gonna get uh, shorter and shorter. But during the winter times, that may also extend it even longer. So you might be in a situation where it doesn't make financial sense to do this. It may just purely be a convenience factor. And it's pretty convenient. But you'll have to make that decision yourself. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If you have any questions or anything else you want me to go over, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe and like the video and have a good one.